guys, I'm Mark. I'm Penny. And we are the Oyster Boys, and today we are going to be reviewing this Iyengar Altbesh Dunkel, <laughs> which uh, we picked up again from Chester Beer and Wines. Uh, go check them out, really nice guys. And uh, Penny, this is one that you've picked up. Yeah, so sticking with the Bavarian theme, um, from looking out the beers, I think these guys had one of the most interesting sort of backgrounds, uh, to be honest with you. Uh, not the oldest brewery, I think it's uh, 1878, uh, when they were established. Um, and I'm a private brewery, so I'm assuming that that's the sort of eyeing on the sort of bottle. So eyeing, eyeing, uh, sort of it will be the local brewery. Um, and yeah, so it's a privatised brewery. They have about 12 beers that they constantly produce, which is quite a lot for, for, for the Germans. I mean, obviously they have the sort of seasonal beers that you'll find, but to constantly be producing 12 beers is... You know, I it's, guess that's a lot of taps, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> that's, that's a lot of taps. Yeah, it? that's some going. Um, so Bavarian, obviously, like we're saying, stick with Bavarian beer. Um, the, the sort of outside the Munich sort of limit to be involved in Oktoberfest. Um, so you might not see him there. Um, but yeah, we decided to go with the Dunkel. Looking at the label, there eh, looks interesting. I love the beer cap with the oh, yeah. with the sort house of the... La landscape going on. Um, and then you've got the Bavarian bag, uh, badge there as well. Uh, you've got a signature. Um, difficult to make out, but I'm assuming that's Franz uh, Inkelkammer Jr., who uh, was the sort of, uh, you know, he was the, he, you know, sort of the guy that really got the, the place going. Uh, so I th I'm not sure, I think he might still be the, uh, the current owner. Um, but no, Eyinger, uh, ratebeer.com, 2020 January, won uh, the best German brewery. Oh wow. So yeah, it's gonna be good. I don't know if you're aware of Samuel Smith's. I am yeah. aware, yeah. I used to be a big fan of the old Ainga Brown. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> and then I think they rebranded it as Alpine Lager, I think they called it, but it was still, right, yeah. it was still the Ainga. Had the guy with the... Yeah, yeah. But like that with his <laughs> yeah, traditional Bavarian fella sat there like that. Um, but yeah, the Ainga Brow was, um, I think that replaced D Pills, which used to be the, the lethal 6.5% <laughs> lager they used to sell in San Francisco pubs. Oh, um, to be 18 again, eh? Oh, no, yeah. <laughs> it was probably like 50p a pint as well, oh, wouldn't okay, it, being Sam yeah. Everything in there was so cheap. But uh, yeah, so uh, this one for me, I, I mean, it's not a beer that I'm looking forward to tasting. Ah. Dark beers for me, I'm not really into. I like lager, I like pale beers. Uh, the darker they go, not really for me, but hey, give it a go. Maybe this is going to change my life. Okay, well, just before we plunge in, a bit more about Eyinger. So, um, Alpine Town, um, hard water area, apparently makes a big difference on the flavour of the beer. Um, they've got a well on site, I think it's about 178 metres down, and the actual bottle and sell the water itself. Wow. So, so, so we could buy the Iyengar the Iyengar water. You can buy and we could Iyengar. make our own beer. <laughs> we could try and make our own Iyengar brow uh, as authentically as possible by using their own water. You, you might not get your the European author authentication <laughs> badge on the back, but yes, technically you could. I mean we also as well to add to that all local ingredients, um, yeah. so they get the uh, majority of the top, uh, the hops from the Halatau sort of region and all the grain it's from your sort of Nuremberg, uh, Bamberg sort of area, um, so very local, water's on site, um, so yeah, <laughs> let's, uh, let's give it a go. Let's dive in. Okay, let's, uh, let's crack these open and have a little look and see what we think. Oh uh, yeah, I mean, oh, Straight away. It's not as dark as you thought, it's, though, is it? It's not as dark as I thought, but, I'm, but straight <laughs> off the bat, that colour's giving me oh, uh, come on. the heebie-jeebies, man. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I've done that badly. I mean, Dunkel, obviously, dark. Uh, I mean, it's more, would you say more of a, a ruby colour? Yeah, though? It's, it's, a, it's a red. It's, a, it's, a, it's not brown, it is a red, ruby red beer. Okay, but, um, so what are you giving that uh, as a parent? I mean, like you said, a uh, wheat beer. Yeah, it's just let me get that so I can see through it there. Um, that's still, I don't know if there is any yeast in the bottom of this, because that still is crystal clear. Yeah, for, you know. For which I wouldn't, I, I really wouldn't have thought that. Yeah. I mean, it looks, it is very red, isn't it? You think it's a, a, an English bitter. That's the kind of colour we're looking at there. Yeah. Um, it doesn't look appealing to me, okay. uh, but you know, it's all, it's all preference. It is, so, yeah, so I mean, I'd probably give that maybe a 
maybe a five, four, four, a four and a half. I give it a four and a half. Four and a half. Yeah. I love my dark beer, especially in the winter time with a steak or something like that. So yeah, for me, it's a seven point five. Wow. So go go hard. Yeah, hey, go hey, hard. <laughs> hey, I, I, for me, dark beer. I, I'm I'm going for it. So. Okay. And let's uh, and let's go for the sniffs. I'm not getting a lot. It's sweet. It smells sweet. But yeah, but other than that, I'm getting a bit of coffee. <sighs> Maybe a slight bit of chocolate. Yeah, like a molasses type smell. Um, yeah. I'm not really getting the coffee. No? No. I mean, it doesn't smell bad. <laughs> it's not making me it's want It's not me. giving me stuff. No, it's no. Not give, it's not for there's, no, there's, there's no, no hop smell at all. I'm just getting, it just smells sweet. Yeah. Uh, again, maybe this is just my uh, hatred for dark <laughs> beers just shining through well, in this review. <laughs> well, I, okay. As a, I would give that a four. Uh, I mean, I, I think you're being generous. <laughs> <laughs> if I'm honest, this, I, I, it's not really bringing anything to the party. I'm going to give it a three. Okay, that's fair enough. Okay, so in terms of price, well, I suppose we should do the flavour first. Yeah. Because it, it, yes. we don't, we're not going to know if it's uh, good value for money if I don't know what it tastes like. Yes, that's true. <laughs> that's true. Okay. So let's uh, let's dive in. I'm, I'm not looking forward to this. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> Not a fan. I mean, if someone's definitely gone to the effort of making a beer. <laughs> I can I can tell you that it's it's, 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 it's very clean. It's just I mean I can just I can shut my eyes and if I've never seen this beer and I took a sip of that I would be able to say that is a dark red beer. <laughs> so it, it tastes exactly like you'd think it does, but it's 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 sweet, it's almost syrupy in your mouth. Yeah. Um, it's got it's a good mouthfeel though, do you it, not think? It's, it's, if that's what you like, then yeah, it's a good mouthfeel. It's, <laughs> it's got the mouthfeel of a dunkle, if that makes sense. But um, it's, it's kind of a bit nutty at the back end. Yeah, um, okay, yeah. Coffee, are you getting the coffee now? I'm getting the coffee, you're oh, definitely actually. The, the longer it's, it's a real long taste. Like it's still developing in my mouth now, in a bad way. But uh, yeah, there's there's the coffee, the sweetness, the nuttiness, the almost like a almost like a burnt biscuit type flavour for me. Um, okay, yeah. I mean, I'm gonna, I'm gonna drink it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not stupid. <laughs> I'm gonna drink the beer. It's not the best uncle I've had, but it's clean. It's getting nice coffee aromas and getting the sweetness um, from the you know the roasted malt and uh, yeah. Uh, I like it, personally. Um, so I, I, I'm going to go. I'm going to go two. I'm going to go two. <laughs> See, but, okay, for me, it'd be a six point five. Okay. I, I like the beer. Um, so yeah, I, I, I think a solid six point five. So in terms of price. Yes. So this one was. I'm, I'm going to be upset by this, aren't I? <laughs> uh, this was uh, two pound ninety five. Oh. That's, that's not under three pound specialist beer you know um these aren't beers that you can get in the supermarket and obviously you it's half a it, bottle you should be able to get this out of this pub <laughs> <laughs> i bet it wasn't two pound 90 in there oh, well, <laughs> God, jesus yeah you probably get a meal for two pound 90 in there but that's another story but yeah uh, for, uh, for me I would go back and, and buy another one for, for the price. Yeah, I mean personally, I, I I wouldn't go and buy this. This is this is not my beer. This is this is mm. this is your beer. This is not yeah. for me. Uh, however, you know, a, a speciality beer that you've had to go out of your way to get for, yeah. from a bottle shop from up in the Alps. Yeah, you've gone all the way to the Alps to get it. <laughs> not me personally, yeah. please. And, and it's only cost two pound ninety. Now that is good value. Yeah, that is good value for money there. So, I mean, I can't argue with the fact that it's good value, and I can't rate it, mark it down because of that. So, I'm going to say I'd probably give it an eight to a ten for the, it for would the value. Be an eight for me as well. Yeah, I really do think yeah that's really good value. Okay. Um, so. Um, sessionability, <laughs> right? I, I, it's, it's a one. It's a one from me. Because I would have one and then think, why have I done that? And I just wouldn't buy another one. See, if I, if I walked into one of the pubs in Chester, the taverns, the fire was going and it was November, it was cold outside. You know what? I, I do think with, with, I would have this throughout the meal, I think I would have three parts of it. I really do. 
because it's clean, it's not over heavy, it doesn't give me like the burp sometimes, you know, lines me off. So what are you giving it for sessionability? What's your score? It'd be a three, it would be a three. Three. Yeah. And one for you. You know, one, one pint and go. <laughs> not for me. I, I, like I say, I'd have one pint and as soon as I You finish it though. I'd finish it yeah. because I'm cheap. <laughs> <laughs> but that, so we've, uh, the numbers are in, we've added it all up. Uh, this beer, the Ienga Altbesch Dunkel, has an oyster score of 48.5. So, uh, thanks very much for joining us on today's video. Thanks. It's been good. So, oysters out. <laughs>